Let's thank God. Let's thank God again for the opportunity and the privilege to, to bless the name of the Lord and to intercede for nations on this platform. Let's hallow his name. He's a good God, a good father, the God that created heaven and earth, the God over all nations. There is no one like him. None can be compared unto him. Father, we just worship you. Father, we hallow your name. We magnify your holy name. There is none like you. None can be compared unto you. Thank you for the privilege to come into your presence to pray again over the nation. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you have started doing in the nations of Africa. Thank you for what you will yet do. Thank you most especially for the nation of Nigeria. Thank you for taking over in the nation of Nigeria. Thank you, Lord God of heaven and earth. We bless and magnify your holy name in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Amen and amen. I want to appreciate everyone on this platform. And I want to thank God for the convener and all the coordinators on this platform. And thank God for all the intercessors. Tonight again, we are standing in God for African nations, praying for African nations, and most especially to pray for the nation of Nigeria because of the election that is going on in Nigeria. So it is a privilege again to pray and to stand in God for nations, to pray over nations. And we're not taking it for granted. So I pray that the Lord will hear our prayers and all our prayers will not be in vain in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just want us to lift up our hearts unto the Lord and just appreciate yeah. us to bless his name. I want us to give him glory, honor, and adoration. I want us to just lift up our hearts in worship and worship the name of the Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. Amen. Every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. But the nations in Africa, He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. His name is Aya, above all other names. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is Aya. Above all other names, his name is Jesus, his name is Lord. Over Nigeria, his name is Aya. Above all situations, his name is Jesus, his name is Lord, his name is Aya. Above all situations, his name is Jesus. His name is Lord. Can never, never fail. Can never, never fail, Jesus. Can never, never fail, Jesus, the same forever. Can never, never fail over the nations of Africa, over Nigeria. Can never, never fail, a faithful father. Can never, never fail, Jesus, the same forever. He has never, never failed, and he will never, never fail. He has never, never failed, Jesus, the same forever. 
can never never fail ah jesus it can never never fail creator of heaven and earth it can mm -hmm. never never fail jesus the same forever the lord reigneth let the earth tremble he reigneth let the earth tremble jehovah reigneth let the earth tremble he reigneth let the earth tremble the lord reigneth he reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Jehovah reigns, let the earth tremble. He reigns, let the earth tremble. The Lord reigns over Nigeria. He reigns over African nations. Jehovah reigns over Nigeria. Jehovah reigns over Nigeria. The Lord reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Tremble, <laughs> He read and led the a tremble. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus over the nation in Africa. Plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, yeah. The blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Over the nations of Africa, we say thank you. We bless and magnify your holy name. We glorify your name because there is no one like you. None can be compared unto you. We plead the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaks better than any other blood. We plead the blood of Jesus over the nations in Africa, more especially over Nigeria. We declare the blood will speak life, will speak peace, will speak mercy over the nation of Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we approach your throne of grace tonight by the reason of the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. That blood that was shed will be consigned nation unto you. We come into your, into your throne of grace tonight by the reason of the blood. We declare the blood will speak an answer in the name of Jesus Christ. We take authority over the nations in Africa, over Nigeria, Nigeria, and we declare, Father, your will and your counsel will come to pass. Father, we submit all mm -hmm. unto you. We submit ourselves unto you. We declare tonight with this little time as we declare over the nations in Africa, more especially on Nigeria, you are the God that answered prayer. You will answer our prayers. And there mm -hmm. will be testimonies of Jesus in the name of Jesus. We decree and mm -hmm. declare over the nation of Nigeria, every challenges, every situation that looks impossible by the reason of who you are, Father, you will turn every impossibility to possibilities in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. We bless your name in Jesus' mighty name. I want us to start by asking God for forgiveness of all our sins. At one point, at one time or the other, we have contributed to the problems in the nations of Africa because of our own character of what we ought to do that we're not doing or what we ought not to do that we have done. I want us to come unto God tonight in the heart of repentance and repent of all our wrongdoings. In any way, we have contributed to the sufferings and to the problems in the nations of Africa. May Jehovah have mercy on us. We are laying hold on the finished work of Calvary. We are laying hold on the atonement that was paid for our sin, the precious blood, highly esteemed blood of Jesus, that that blood will nullify, will annul every of our sin. In the name of Jesus, let's pray unto God and begin to declare, Father, we ask, O oh Lord, 
for forgiveness of all our sins, of all our wrongdoings, our shortcomings, what we ought to do that we refuse to do, what we are not meant to do that we have done or that we are still doing. Lord, I'm forgive us of all our shortcomings. Forgive us of all our wrongdoings. Forgive us of all our iniquities, every transgression, because we want you to hear us. Father, every sin in our lives, every sin we have committed, every sin, not only and not only sin, we certain sin, every certain sin, generational sin, that we not allow you, God, to happen unto our voice, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. The blood that was shed on our behalf for the atonement of our sins. We know that the precious blood will speak for us tonight. It speaks for forgiveness. We receive mercy found on the blood of Jesus. We receive mercy found on the blood of Jesus. Because our prayers tonight, this hour will not be in vain. Father, forgive us. Whatever may want to stand as an hindrance, as an obstacle against the prayers we are declaring tonight, Father, please have mercy. We cry for your mercy. We plead for your mercy. We plead for your mercy. Be merciful unto us as citizens of Africa, nations. Be merciful unto us as Nigerians. Father, have mercy. In every way we have come short of your glory. Everything we have done, corruption, bloodshed, every unwanted and unwanted killing, everything we have done that will not allow us to see your glory again in the nation of Nigeria. Father, please have mercy. Father, please have mercy. Father, please have mercy. Please have mercy. Because of the church of God in Nigeria. Please be merciful unto us. Be merciful unto us. Be merciful unto us. Just show us your mercy. We plead the blood of Jesus, the blood that was shed as atonement for our sin. Let that blood speak, O oh Lord. Let it speak. Let it speak mercy. Let it speak mercy on behalf of the nation of Nigeria. Let the blood of Jesus speak in the name of the Lord Jesus, because we want you to hear us. We want you to answer us. We want testimonies. We want a turnaround. We want you to take over in this upcoming election, especially this season in Nigeria. We want a divine election and a div divine election and, and divine intervention. Father, you have done it before. You did it in Kenya. You can do it again in Nigeria. Have mercy on us. In any way, we have run short of your glory. In any way, we have done things wrongly. In any way, we have not done the things we ought to do. Father, have mercy. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We have gone unto Calvary. We come to Golgotha, where the blood was shed. We are in Calvary right now, where the blood of Jesus was shed. That blood was shed to reconcile nations into God. Nigeria is part of the nation that God, that Jesus shed his blood for. Oh, let the blood of Jesus Christ speak. <laughs> Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak. Let it speak over the nation of Nigeria. Oh, Lord, let the blood speak. Forgive us. Forgive all our atrocities. There are many. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We cry unto you. We cry unto you. Be merciful unto us. We have done wrong things. We have done things wrongly. We have approached things wrongly. We are, we are meant to speak up. We refuse to speak in the truth. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Look down on the nation of Nigeria with your eyes of mercy. Be merciful unto us. Be merciful unto us. Be merciful unto us. If you did not help us, there is nothing that we can do. But Lord, you are still in the business of lifting nations. You are still in the business of helping your people. Father, have mercy over the nation of Nigeria. We just cry for your mercy. We are right now where we don't know where to turn, what to do. We know that we have a God that we can call on to. That's why we have decided to call upon you, Lord. Have mercy, have mercy. Let there be divine intervention. 
a quick one, Lord, a quick one, Lord, a quick one, Lord, that we glorify your name, that will make people to know that there is God in Zion. Lord, arise, O oh Lord, arise, O oh Lord, arise, O oh Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Hear our prayers, men and women and pray. And friends are praying. We combine grace together. We combine grace together. I come in Nigeria, people are praying. In diaspora, people are praying. So prayers. Hear us, O Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, O Lord. Look away from every unrighteousness in the world. Away from all our sins. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Let your blood speak. Let your blood be available. Let your blood speak. For we want you to hear us. Father, hear us as we cry. Hear us as we pray unto you. Let not our prayer be made. In the name of Jesus, hear our prayer. Hear our prayers, O oh Lord. Hear our prayers, O oh Lord. Hear our prayers, O oh Lord. We call you in faith. We have we choose not to cast away our confidence in you because we know there is a reward. We choose not to cast away our confidence in you. You are God that answered prayer. Oh God of heaven and earth. Hear our prayers. Hear our prayers. Let us rejoice again in Nigeria. Let rejoicing and gladness come to Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. For you will attend to the voice of our cry and there will be testimonies. There will be joy again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm reading Psalm 66 from verse 18 to 20. Psalm 66, verse 18 to 20. It says, if we remember if we keep my heart, the Lord will hear me. The verily God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, which has not turned away my prayer, nor is mercy from me. He said, Blessed be God, which has not turned away my prayer, nor is mercy from me. We are praying unto God that the blessing of God will not be turned away from the nation of Nigeria. The mercy of God, it will not withdraw from Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus, his blessing will not be turned away from Nigeria. The blessing of God in the name of Jesus will not be turned away from Nigeria. Nigeria, God will answer our prayers. Our prayers will not be turned away in the name of Jesus Christ. Mercy of God will not be withdrawn from us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are boldly declare. Amen and amen. Praise. Amen and amen. We're going to pray again this Saturday. In the next few days, there is another election coming up, an interior election for all the states in Nigeria. And we're going to lift up Nigeria again in prayers. We're going to pray for peace. There, there has been a lot of a lot of rumors. There have been a lot of things going on in Nigeria, and people are instigating. Uh, they, they are raising up on necessary issue bringing tribal, wanting to bring tribal wars into, into Nigeria. We want to pray that they will not stand. All we want is a peaceful Nigeria. All we want is a united Nigeria. We're not talking about tribes. We're not talking about religion. This time around, we want a united Nigeria, a progressive Nigeria, a Nigeria of peace, a Nigeria where people will be allowed to, to where, where people will be allowed to, to, to exercise their freedom. Where there will be free fair election. Hallelujah. There will be we are praying that no division will no longer we will not division will come in the rest of Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. And every form of vision that is keeping people from seeing the truth, the Lord should put an end to it. So we are going to declare peace, peace of God over the nation of Nigeria as we pray for the upcoming election coming up this Saturday. We want us to pray and lift up Nigeria that the God of heaven and earth, the God of perfect peace, will reign in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. The power of peace will reign in Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now the perfect peace of God will be the order of the day in Nigeria. There will be peace in Nigeria, peace at all, by all means, and at all costs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to lift up 
heart of the Lord. Concerning the nation of Nigeria, we declare your peace. We declare your peace. We declare your peace. Nigeria is a great country. Nigeria is a country that you, God, appointed to be a great one. We declare your peace. Let the peace of God reign in the nation of Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let your peace reign in this great country that is called Nigeria. Let your peace reign in the name of Jesus. We declare peace of God. We declare peace by all means, peace at all, peace always in the nation of Nigeria. As Nigeria go to the pools again this Saturday, we declare no uproar in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare peace, we declare peace, peace of God, rule and reign in the nation of Nigeria. Let the power of peace overshadow the nation of Nigeria in the name of the Lord. Jesus, let the power of peace overshadow the nation of Nigeria. No blood, no, 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus. Concerning the upcoming election, we declare peace, we declare peace. We come against tearing up, tearing up hatred. As of men, as of citizens against the other, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We come against the spirit of disunity. We come against the spirit of division. That wants to use religion and listen to the tradition of Nigeria. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We declare no tribal, no tribal, no tribal, no tribal wars in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against sentiment. We come against division. Whatever the enemies may want to use to bring chaos to bring confusion to the nation of Nigeria. We raise the standard of the blood of Jesus against it. We declare it shall not stand, it shall not stand, it will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Nigeria will not collapse. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit that is bringing up hatred in the heart of citizens against each other, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is silent. It is silent. Every spirit of division, disunity, we come against you. You will not stand. You will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, we come against tribal war. In the name of Jesus, we come against religious war. In the name of Jesus, all we are crying for is a free and fair election. With, with Nigeria, with Nigeria moving forward, making progress. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your peace reign in this upcoming election in all the states in Nigeria, starting from Lagos State to Oyo State to, to, to Kaduna to, 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 to every state in Nigeria. We declare peace of God, peace of God. Let it reign. Let it reign. Let it reign. Let the blood of Jesus. The blood that speaks better things. Let it speak peace. Let it speak perfect peace. Keep Nigeria in a position of perfect peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any power, any group of people that may want to bring division, that may want to bring war, that may want to bring disunity, that may want to distract people from doing the exercising their rights. Saturday, we come against it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, people's yeah. attention will not be divided. In the name of Jesus, group of people that are setting up hatred, some citizens, the blood of Jesus shut you down. In the name of Jesus, will declare peace, peace, and the power of peace rule and reign in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, let the power of peace rule and reign in Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus, as Nigeria returns to the return to the Peace on Saturday. Let the power of peace rule and reign in the name of Jesus. Make every citizen of Nigeria an instrument of peace. Make every citizen of Nigeria an instrument of your peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where there is hatred, let there be love. Let there be kindness in the name of Jesus. Where there is hatred, let them sow love. Make every citizen in Nigeria to be an instrument of your peace. Oh Lord God of heaven and earth, Bring an end to all this hatred being stirred up in the hearts of citizens against each other. In the name of Jesus, where there is hatred, let me individual begin to sow the seed of love. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where there is confusion, Father, let there be divine settlement. Let there be divine settlement. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where there is hurt, 
Father, Lord of heaven and earth, let go out your love in the name of Jesus. Where there is darkness, let there be light. Let there be light. Where there is sadness, let there be joy once again. We declare peace over Nigeria. We declare peace over Nigeria. And every citizen in the nation of Nigeria will be an instrument of peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In, the in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. In the name the Lord Jesus, we pray. Now we're going to pray that is coming up. We're going to pray for the election that is coming up. And we're going to declare that the heavens be open over the nation of Nigeria. Let the hearts of men to be open to choose for themselves the right leaders. Not only voting, but let the exercise be free fear and let it be a free and fair election in the name of Jesus Christ. Let no corruption interfere this time around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's lift up everyone that God that that is that 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 that, that, that is eligible to vote. We lift them up that none of them will live in fear. This time around again, they will come out in mass and vote rightly. They will vote wisely in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray for a free and fair election. It will no longer be a play, an election that has been manipulated in the name of Jesus. Father, we receive the host of heaven, the angels of God, to join in this election in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare everything in nature will cooperate. We declare open heavens in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Men are crying. Women are crying daily concerning this election. Father, let our cries be heard. Father, answer us, O oh Lord. As citizens of Nigeria, they go back to the pools to this 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 Saturday to vote. Father, you will appoint unto them a wise leader, a servant leader, a visionary leader in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, you will reach out from heaven to save Nigeria concerning this coming election in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, please reach out from heaven to save, to save, to save. Let there be no rigging. Let there be no manipulation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let them be released of your angels. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let this be election this this Saturday coming. This this Saturday election, let it be a divine election. Let it be a divine election. In the name of Jesus, let everything you have written pray with this Saturday. Let no 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 corruption. Let no manipulation. Be the order of the day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, you are able to do a new thing. We have been crying for a new thing. Father, please do a new thing concerning our leaders in Nigeria. Father, please do a new thing. We need to elect, we need, we need good leaders. Father, do a new thing in the choice of leaders. Father, do a new thing. Father, do a new thing. Grant the nation of Nigeria a good and God fearing leader. Servant so leaders, visionary leaders, transformational leaders, leaders that are burden bearers, leaders that understand the cries of the people. Father, do it for us. Father, do it for us. Leaders that are servant leaders, leaders that are ready to serve in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, not leaders that will embezzle, embezzle Nigeria again. Father, do it for us. Father, do it for us. Father, do it for us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, make a way where there is no way. As your people, citizens of Nigeria, as they come out to vote, let there be no manipulation again. Let there be manipulation again. Father, bring an end to every manipulation in the name of Jesus. Father, reach out from heaven. Richard from heaven, Richard from heaven to save the nation of Nigeria. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Every power that is trampling upon the people of Nigeria. Father, you in your mighty, in your power, Lord challenge them. Lord challenge them. Lord challenge them. Lord challenge them. In the name of Jesus. As many that are, as many that want to pull upon the, the rights of citizens in Nigeria. Father, arise. 
arise from heaven and challenge them. And challenge them. Father, challenge them. God, challenge them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, arise from heaven and challenge them. Arise from heaven and challenge them. Arise from heaven and challenge them. In the name of Jesus Christ, as many that have proposed to take this coming election, Father, arise, O Lord. Arise and challenge them. Arise and challenge them. Arise and challenge them. Arise and challenge them. In the name of Jesus. Arise and challenge them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, let normalcy return to Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, this time around, it will be a free and fair election in the name of Jesus Christ. It will be a free and fair election. Let not the enemies of Nigeria subdue this nation of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Let the vote of the citizen, let it count. Let it count. Father, let it count in the name of Jesus. Father, do a new thing for us. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we choose to give up every unrighteousness. Whatever has opened the door, whatever has opened the door for the enemies to smite in Nigeria, Father, we, we let it be shut down by your precious Lord. Precious Lord, Father, do a new thing for us. Father, do a new thing for us. Concerning this upcoming election this Saturday, touch the hearts of citizens. Let them vote rightly. Let them vote rightly. In the name of Jesus, we come against manipulation. Put an end to by every manipulation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, do what you alone can do. Do what you alone can do. Do what the you alone can do. Let the angels of God let them be part of this upcoming election to scroll all to bring, to bring peace into the nation of Nigeria to pour out righteousness in the heart of men. Even those that have vowed to manipulate election this Saturday, Father, touch their heart. Touch their heart. Touch their heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch their heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever may want to make them to do wrong things, Father, let it be held back from them. Let the powers be held back from them. Let their energy be held back from them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As many that are proposed that they will reach this upcoming election, Father, let their, let what, whatever is given them power, let it be held back from them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Let a decree go forth over the nation of Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let a divine decree of a free and fair election, let it go forth in the nation of Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord of God. Father, do a new thing. Father, do a new thing. Father, do a new thing. Over the nation of Nigeria, Father, do a new thing. Father, do a new thing. Let there be a new season. Let there be a new season. Season of joy and gladness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let Nigeria be released into a new nation. Let Nigeria be first of this election. Let Nigeria be released to a new nation in the name of Jesus. Heal us from the wound of the first election in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, do a new thing. Father, do a new thing. Father, do a new thing. Let every of your counsel, every of your plan, let it be made manifest in the nation of Nigeria, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please do a new thing. Father, please do a new thing. Father, please do a new thing. Over the nation of Nigeria, my Lord and my Savior, do a new thing. 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 Release a divine decree. Bring a new Nigeria out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That do a new let the windows be open over the nation of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Let the enemies of Nigeria let them be subdued. Reach out from heaven to save Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Reach out from heaven to save Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, do a new thing. Do a new thing. Do a new thing. Do a new thing. Bring down the government of heaven to rule over the nation of Nigeria, to rule over the corruption and the manipulation of men 
concerning this Saturday election, in the name of Jesus Christ, do a new thing. Father, do a new thing. Do a new thing. Let there be a divine decree. Release a divine decree over the nation of Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, give us good leaders. 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 The leaders with the heart of God. Leaders that are ready to carry body. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, give us good leaders. Give us good leaders. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Reba Sata Hadeleba Sotaha. Give us good leaders. In the name of the Lord Jesus, give us good leaders. Give us good leaders. Give us good leaders. Give us good leaders. In the name of the Lord Jesus, give us good leaders. Give us good leaders. Give us good leaders. In the name of the Lord Jesus, give us good leaders. Give us good leaders. In the name of Jesus, Nigeria, you you will not die. Nigeria, you will arise to shine again. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will arise with his power and fight for Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in this coming election, oh, the Lord will arise with his power and fight for Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, Father, arise with your power. Those that have, those that call themselves meaning God in Nigeria, arise in your power, arise in your power. Disgrace everyone that have made up their mind to manipulate this upcoming Saturday election in the name of the Lord Jesus. Arise with your power and fight. Fight for the citizens of Nigeria. Father, fight for the citizens of Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Fight for the citizens of Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, do a new thing. We cry for a new thing. We cry for a new thing. Do a new thing over the nation of Nigeria. Let men know that there is God. Let your covenant of progress, your covenant of peace, let it be experienced in the nation of Nigeria, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Amen. Father. We are still praying. We are going to pray that the Lord will deliver the nation of Nigeria from the spirit of corruption. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The Lord will deliver Nigeria from the spirit of corruption. Corruption everywhere. Even they even brought it into election. Let there be a divine election this time around. Father, deliver Nigeria from the spirit of corruption. Deliver Nigeria by your power, by your mercy, from the spirit of corruption in the name of Jesus. As we go into election this Saturday, Lord God of heaven and earth, deliver Nigeria from the spirit of manipulation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Deliver Nigeria from the spirit of corruption, the spirit of manipulation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, you can do it, you have done it before. Deliver Nigeria. You did it in the nation of Kenya. You can repeat the same thing in Nigeria. Father, please do. Let righteousness go forth in Nigeria. Let there be a divine degree of righteousness in the nation of Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, deliver Nigeria from every spirit of corruption. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you can do it. Do it for us, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for the voters. February 25th, there was a presidential election. And Nigerian citizens, they came out en masse. But for one thing or the other, a lot of people are saying the election was not free and fair. And some people, they are just tired. We're going to pray for strength. Because we heard that people are saying they are not ready to vote again. And I want to encourage every Nigeria, wherever you are, if you are back home, please go out and vote. Do not lose courage. God in, in his mercy will make your vote to count in the name of Jesus. This election will be a divine election. So we're going to pray for strength, strength and power to those that are weary and tired and weak. We're going to pray for voters that the Lord will renew their strength and the Lord will release fresh power. They will no longer be weak. They will not be tired. 
we will together we will be able to see a new Nigeria. Let's lift them up. Every citizen that is meant to vote, Lord, we lift them to your throne of grace. The Lord, you will release strength from above unto them. Let them receive strength. They will not be weary. They will not be tired. They will not be weak. Father, release strength and power in the name of the Lord Jesus. They go out and mass to go and do their civic rights. Father, let their vote count. In the oh, name of Jesus, let this election be a divine election. In the mighty name of Jesus, release grace upon them. Every citizen that is, that is meant to vote, release grace upon them. Release strength upon them. They will not be weary. They will not be tired. Lord, divinely direct them so that they will vote rightly and they will vote wisely. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we lift them up. Let there be a renewal of strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a release of power. Let there be a release of grace in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release of divine direction. They will vote aright in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we want to pray for protection that the Lord will preserve them. As they go out to perform their civic rights, they will not be hurt. No danger will come near them. No attack of the enemies will prosper. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We release the angels of life to maintain security on Saturday in the name of the Lord Jesus. As the citizens of Nigeria go out there to vote, Father, protect and preserve them. Protect and preserve them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Protect and preserve them. Preserve them from calamity. Preserve them from attack. Preserve them from danger. Let them be fully let them be fully covered. Lord, cover them. Preserve and protect them. They are fully covered. They are fully defended. They are fully protected. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, protect them. Father, preserve them. As they go out there to exercise their civic right, let no evil befall them. May their lives be preserved. May their families be preserved. May their homes be preserved. May their businesses be preserved. May their families be preserved. In the name of Jesus. May the various communities in Nigeria be preserved. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the various communities in Nigeria be preserved. For this upcoming election, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare peace again. We declare peace again. We declare peace again in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare peace again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. To pray for all the INEC, INEC staff, INEC staff, that the Lord will touch their hearts. None of them will abhor evil for the citizen and the great nation of Nigeria. They will not come under manipulation. And we're going to pray for safety for them too, that the Lord will preserve them. No evil will befall any one of them. None of them will come under the spirit of manipulation and corruption. Let's lift every INEC member, every INEC staff. Let's lift them up. That the land and of the Lord we uphold them. They will not fall into manipulations of men. They will not fall into corruption. They will not sell their bad drive in the name of Jesus Christ. They will be preserved as they perform their duties on Saturday, no attack will prosper over them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that the angels of life too will maintain security upon their lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, you will protect them. Lord, you will protect them. Father, you will preserve them. You will touch their hearts. None of them will be led wrongly. In the name of Jesus, they will not answer to the corruption of men. They will not answer to the manipulations of the men. They will do things accordingly and rightly. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. We are going to pray again for Nigeria. That this time around, God is turning Nigeria from a wasting nation to a productive nation by the reason of the right set of leaders that God will appoint for Nigeria. That God, in His mercy, 
We turn Nigeria from a wasting nation to a productive nation, to a productive nation, a nation that is enriched, a nation that is enriched, and a nation that enriches citizens in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for the great nation of Nigeria as we are about to change leadership that Lord God of heaven and earth, we bless Nigeria with servant leaders, that the Lord God on earth, and earth, we bless Nigeria with visionary leaders that we make that we change the name of Nigeria from a wasting nation to a productive nation, to a productive nation, a nation that is said to enrich enrich its citizen in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We're going to pray for the hand of God, the right hand of God that dwelt valiantly to all the nation of Nigeria. This season is a very, is a big, big one for the nation of Nigeria. Seems as if the real issue is that it seems Nigeria is collapsing. But I know there is a God that can help that he created. Nigeria is a nation that Jesus shed his blood for to reconcile. The Nigerian God, the God of heaven and earth, the whole Nigerian nation with his right hand. The of the Lord, the we uphold the nation of Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The right hand of God, we uphold the nation of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Nigeria, you will not fail. Nigeria, you will not die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of we call forth for the righteousness of God to come forth in the nation of Nigeria. Righteousness is not a nation. Father, we call for righteousness over the hearts of men in Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, your mighty hand will sustain Nigeria. Your mighty hand will Nigeria, will reach out from heaven to save Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. No longer with Nigeria come under manipulation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will deliver Nigeria. You will deliver Nigeria by your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Life is chilling in Nigeria. Whatever is in Nigeria or whatever is dead in Nigeria, we prophesy life. We prophesy life. We prophesy life. Life of heaven to the nation of Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. We prophesy life. Life. Everything they give God unto Nigeria. Oh, we prophesy life. We prophesy life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. We call for good things to come forth to Nigeria again. We, re we receive the anointing of restoration and repair the nation of Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus, that God will do a new thing and it shall spring forth in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord will do a new thing. It shall spring forth. We prophesy life. Life will return to everything that is a gift in Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus. Both human and material things. We prophesy life. We prophesy life to come back to everything that is a gift in Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the angels of good things begin to walk over the nation of Nigeria. Let good come forth in Nigeria again. We receive the anointing to repair and to restore in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray again for starvation of souls in the nation of Nigeria. Salvation of souls for citizens of Nigeria. The real salvation, the real salvation that the hearts of men will walk with God in righteousness. Righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach. I want us to pray for every Nigerian, either back home in Nigeria or in Dangora, 
grace to walk in righteousness. Let it rest upon us in the name of Jesus. We will no longer give up righteousness to unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus, we will no longer give up righteousness to unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus, let's pray that the heart of men acts of women that are in prison in the realm of filthiness, in the realm of ungodliness, their heart will be open. Their heart will be open to saving knowledge of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace to live a righteous life, the grace to live a godly life, the grace to live a holy life. Let that grace rest upon us as Nigeria citizens in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever we will no longer give up on righteousness for righteousness again in the nation of Nigeria, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us a heart, a heart to stand, a heart to walk in the righteousness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, do it for us. You have done it before, you can do it again. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, I'm going to declare the Fanaya chapter 3, verse 17. The Fanaya chapter 3, verse 17, over the nation of Nigeria, and I will speak over all African nations that the Lord will rejoice over African nations. In the name of Jesus. The Fanaya chapter 3, verse 17. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. Amen. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Amen. I'm reading it again. I'm reading Sophaniah chapter 3, verse 17. Thank you, Jesus. 3, verse 17. Yeah, um, let me read yeah. let me read the amplified amplified yeah, version yeah, yeah, amen yeah. it says the lord your god is in your midst a warrior who says he will rejoice over you with joy he will be yeah. quiet in his love making no mention of our past sins hallelujah he will yeah. rejoice over you with shouts of joy amen yeah. This will be the portion of the great nation of Nigeria. The Amen. Lord God of heaven and earth is in the midst of the great country called Nigeria and all other African nations. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the God who created heaven and earth will rejoice over African nations with joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will rejoice over us with shouts of joy. In the name of Jesus, he says it will be quiet in his love making no mention of your past sins. Our past sins are being overlooked in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood speak for us. The blood of Jesus speak forgiveness for us. The blood of Jesus speak mercy for us in the name of Jesus. Mercy is taking over from every judgment of sin in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will rejoice over us with joy. We prophesy this over African nations, over the great nation of Nigeria. It is a season of joy and singing. No more sadness, no more despair, no more, no more, no more famine in the name of Jesus. No more sorrow in the name of Jesus. The Lord God of heaven and earth is in the midst of thee. It's in the midst of African nations. It's a season for a new birth. It's a season for a new thing. He will do a new thing and all eyes will see it. In the Amen. name of the Lord Jesus, his name will be glorified in the Amen. nations of Africa. His name Amen. will be glorified in the nation Amen. of Nigeria. And his Amen. reign will be Amen. forever over Amen. African nations. Amen. I join my yes. faith with the faith yes. of everyone that is connected to today that we declare peace of God will reign. Progress Amen. over African Amen. nations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Amen. Jesus' mighty name. We are boldly declared. Amen and amen. Amen in Jesus' name. I just want to bless the name of the Lord for the little minutes that we have and just to appreciate God and thank him for prayers that are answered. I want us to give him a sacrifice of thanksgiving. The Lord God of heaven and earth, we give you a sacrifice of thanksgiving. The God that answered prayer, you have heard our prayers. Lord, we say thank you. 
we say thank you. For all the nations in Africa, for the great nation of Nigeria, we say thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you will yet do. We thank glorify you. your name. We say thank you for your past faithfulness thank over you, African nations. Amen. We say thank you for your continuous Amen. grace over African nations. We say thank you for advanced goodness that we will bestow upon African nations. We are grateful. Thank you, Heavenly yes, okay. Father, the God that answered that prayer. Okay. So you will Lord flesh come. Thank you, King of glory, Lord of Lords, governor among all nations. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are boldly declared. Amen and amen. amen. And amen, amen in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Thank you. Thank you. Together we are covered by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord of God. Amen and amen. I hand wow. over to the next set of people. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Next set Thank of you, people. our Pastor Esther from Nigeria, who is standing in the gap and interceding for the nation. We thank you. Amen. Esther. To Thank you. Esther. As well as Sitha, Sitho, as they intercede for Nigeria. Amen. Thank you. Can you please pass the host now to me? Uh, All right. I've thank done you. That. I've done Amen. that. Thank you. I'll see you again next week. All right, Esther. then. Thank you. God bless yes. you. I'm grateful. Thank you. you. All Amen. right. Bye. Amen. Bye. Bye.